Uh, Senator Graham says that uh, Rudy Giuliani will be providing the department information on related to Ukraine and the Bidens. What is the process for, for receiving this information? Who will uh, evaluate it? And uh, is this something that you feel the need to accuse yourself of? Well, as, as I've previously said, the, the, the DOJ uh, has the obligation to have an open door to anybody uh, who wishes uh, to provide us information that, that they think is relevant. Uh, but as I did say to Senator Graham, in, in, uh, we have to be very careful in, uh, with, it, with respect to any information coming from the Ukraine. Uh, there are a lot of uh, agendas in the Ukraine. There are a lot of cross currents. Uh, and we can't take anything we receive from the Ukraine at face value. And for that reason, uh, we had uh, established a, an intake process in the field uh, so that uh, any information coming in about Ukraine could be carefully scrutinized by the department uh, and its uh, intelligence communi community partners. Uh, so that we could assess its provenance uh, and its credibility. And, you know, that is true for all information uh, that comes to the department relating to the Ukraine, including uh, anything Mr. Giuliani might provide. Because nothing shows just how seriously the Trump administration took the Senate trial, as the Attorney General now admitting that he's opened up a channel to be able to communicate with people like Rudy Giuliani, whose sham investigation into the Bidens formed the basis of the President's impeachment. This is Bill Barr now himself admitting that he's open to accepting this type of information, all but giving his blessing for Rudy to continue to dig up dirt on Trump's top political opponent. The answer came in response to an admission by Lindsey Graham that he'd spoken with Barr, who privately told him the same thing. We're going to make sure that Hunter Biden's conflict of interest is explored because it's legitimate. How could Joe Biden really fight corruption when his son's sitting on the breeze board? Uh, but can you clarify? You said you talked to Attorney General Barr. This morning. This morning. Has the Department of Justice been ordered to investigate the Bidens? No. The Department of Justice is receiving information coming out of the Ukraine from Rudy. Already. To, to see. Uh, he told me that they've created a process that Rudy could give information and they would see if it's verified. Rudy Giuliani is a well-known man. He's a crime fighter. He's loyal to the president. He's a uh, good lawyer. But what I'm trying to say to the president and anybody else, that the Russians are still up to it. Deterrence is not working. So let's look at Hunter Biden's conflict. Let's look at Joe Biden. Vice President Biden, what did you do when they told you your son was on Burisma's board? It undercut your ability to fight corruption. Did you take it seriously? Obviously he did. Now, Barr is basically trying to spin this as an issue of the DOJ being transparent and open to receiving information. He says the DOJ has an obligation to have an open door to anybody, but there is a difference between being open to receiving legitimate complaints to investigate and encouraging a probe that is not only debunked, but the basis of which is the result of a partisan personal errand on the president's behalf being carried out by his personal lawyer. If Barr can't differentiate between an open door and using the DOJ as a prop to legitimize BS investigations that serve only the purpose of helping Trump in the next election, then he has absolutely no place as Attorney General. Barr goes on to say that because it's so difficult to ascertain what information coming from Ukraine is legitimate versus what isn't, that the DOJ has established a carefully scrutinized intake system. But if Barr knows how difficult it is to get valid information from Ukraine, why in the world is he legitimizing the operation being carried out by Rudy Giuliani? Rudy is not a government employee. He is not bound by any rules. He does not abide by national security protocols that other government officials follow. He is a private attorney for the president, put in place expressly to circumvent national security protocols and work on behalf of his client, Donald Trump. If the so-called corruption by the Bidens was actually serious, was actually legitimate, was actually actually taking place, then the DOJ itself would investigate it. That's why they're there. That's why our tax dollars fund that department. But Barr knows that it's BS. And so rather than allow the actual DOJ to investigate an issue that doesn't exist and ultimately have to admit that it was a sham, he's giving Giuliani his blessing to operate outside of the realm of government protocols and accountability and rules and oversight to conduct his own bogus investigation. An investigation, mind you, that the entire world knows is being carried out for the express purpose 
of making Joe Biden look bad and Trump look good ahead of the next election. So Bill Barr can try and dress this up, but here's what it is. It is state-sponsored corruption. It is the Attorney General in cooperation with the President of the United States using the Department of Justice to attack Trump's enemies and ultimately to help him cheat and win in the next election. This isn't about transparency or justice, it's about winning. That's it. And the fact that the Attorney General is willing to cripple the public's trust in one of our most revered institutions, in the Department of Justice, a body that we look to to render impartial justice regardless of political party, that he's willing to trash it all so that Trump can get a good soundbite to use against Biden, is a testament to just how glaringly unfit for office both of those men are. Just like Bill Barr showed when he misrepresented the Mueller report with a summary stating the literal opposite of Robert Mueller's findings, just like Bill Barr showed when he lied about the findings of the Inspector General report, just like Bill Barr showed when he traveled to Italy to try and gather information to undermine the Mueller investigation, he has never worked on behalf of the American people or his department, he's only worked to serve Donald Trump. And his public statement today promising to continue gathering information from people like Rudy Giuliani is proof that so long as he's the Attorney General, General, nothing is going to change.